There's roots at the foundation. That's what this piece is called. Not long ago, Lonnie Holly was a short order cook at a pancake restaurant. But it has an entanglement of plastics and it makes it suffer. Now he's an artist, self-taught and quite prolific. He works and displays and, given a chance, talks nonstop about the crude pieces he makes from a variety of discarded items. Take a look at that chair. I'm going to walk over to the chair because right now I've got to walk over these windows and things that I, you know, are part of society is one of those getting broken and the roots sometimes break in. His works have accumulated amid the trees and brush of the property first settled by his grandfather. From afar, Lonnie Holly's cluttered hillside display is a sight that one might not at first associate with the highbrow world of art. It's like a junkyard. In a way, it looks like a junkyard, but it's art. Yeah, you get all piled up every which way. I mean, if they were just passing by and not, you know, go up there and look at it, it would look like a, you know, junk. I was educated by lifting up or picking up this material from the level of what they say uh, trash and debris. Lonnie Holly is more than a backyard folk artist. Additionable scenes that could get together through flooding. Two years ago, Atlanta's High Museum prominently exhibited some of Holly's works. Some of his pieces have sold for $10,000, he says. It seems the folk art world can't get enough of Lonnie Holly. You try to buy one of those pieces, it'll be bought out from under you. Absolutely. Lonnie Holly is um, very hot right now. I don't think there's any question that Lonnie Holly is one of the most important artists working in the world today. For 17 years, Lonnie Holly has created and added to his hillside collection. And as his collection has grown, so too have the ambitions of a powerful neighbor to the north, the Birmingham Municipal Airport. What we're looking at is we need the property for the airport expansion. The airport authority has already condemned more than 700 pieces of property in its runway expansion project. Lonnie Holly's property is one of them. The authority has offered Holly $14,000 to move out. Our hope is that that he could relocate to another location and uh, be as well off or better off than he is now. And uh, we got to move. But this is not a typical condemnation. A walk through Lonnie Holly's property shows that, to put it one way, the art has become integrated with the environment. So the yard kind of grew together as a kind of interweaving like a vine. Uh, in a sense, it, it kind of grew together over the years. And this doesn't need to be moved. And, and the, the most important, I think, overriding consideration is if you move it, you're going to destroy half of it. There's no question about that. The airport authority says there's no way around it. Holly's property stands in the path of the runway. Ironically, one of Holly's paintings hangs in the airport terminal, just a few feet away from the agency that's condemning his folk art strewn hillside. There are people that are saying he's a wonderful artist and has a, a following. Uh, I'm not an expert on art. But what's in this pile is so beautiful. We want to treat everyone fairly, including Lonnie Holly.